Oh, we're having a good day today. eBay has just clapped back at Vinted. I can't wait for Vinted to go and smack back as well. But we've done a video on that. We've already spoke about it. We've discussed it. Let's go hit a charity shop. Obviously, we're hoping for more jelly cats. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Yeah, all of it. Who was? I don't know, somebody look at them. Look at them I mean, they're ancient. Got sent back in here today to buy one, but I think it's sold. What was it? Oh there it is. Somebody asked me to buy that. Some, somebody asked me to buy that. I missed it last time. I think so. Like an idiot, I was too busy. Excited by them. What have we got? Scrabble, Coronation Street, what's this junk? Mastermind, all the, all the ones you used to have. Mastermind. Very old jigsaw. That's two very old jigsaws. Oh yeah, look at that one. There it is. Oh yeah, that is an old one, isn't it? Not as old as me. Well, you said Get a basket just because it'd be easier. Spooky season, huh? Everyone keeps saying to me, why don't I get these? So basically that's why, and that's why. No, two phones need batteries. Are they actually the phones? I think they are. We'll buy them. Let me just check that out quickly. Wait, actually, I'm not that bothered about it. I'm gonna go and check the clothing first. 10 quid for that, is that Blu-ray? Put that in there as a maybe. Ah. So, I'll check it up. Let's just look over here quickly. Then I can take more notice on what I've picked up and put in the basket. It's the beauty of charity shops. You can put things in your basket and then check it and nobody else can grab it. You can't do that in a boot sale, can you? <laughs> Maybe, I'm going to double check some things. Especially this basket. I've got to get in there before you, haven't I? Right. Well, let me have a check and see what I've picked up first. I'm a fixer. Spooky season is upon us. No, no way. Sounds Australian. No way. Why do Australians say no like that? No. No. This is good. I'll probably get 50 for that on Marketplace. There's no remote though. Yeah. That's Freddy, isn't it? Not Freddy. Yeah. Tomb of Doom. It's like 2005 ish, I think, on that one. Let's have a look. 2001. That's all right, no worries. What's that multi-listing quantity? Cards. Cards. Oh, you're messing around today, are you? getting all the season stuff out. Christmas, Halloween. Right, what ones did you sell? Do you know... Uh... I don't sell Christmas cards. Yeah, not you. Oh. Darling. That looks... Yeah, I'll buy that as well. Remind me when you come... Well, I'll put it on the till then. I'll yeah, yeah, no dramas. Oh, I've just bought that for Ada. Um... Stick a pony in me pocket. Right, let me get my basket. I'm so sorry. I keep leaving it everywhere. Yes, that's right. Yes. <laughs> there you go. I'll pop that on there as well. And then it's all in one place. This is your Halloween bag. Let me have a look in here. See if there's anything I can bring out with me. Come on. In Limited Ireland. Easter Unlimited, whatever it is. No. Don't What's that up there? Yeah. Little more cutie crap. little cutie more. shoe. You mean more amazing stuff you mean? Because <laughs> the thing is a lot of this will be perished, see, so yeah look. Or perished. Might be worth something there. Let's have a look. Uh, only one listed starting bids 1999 in good condition and no solds for three years. That could be good. That's not. Probably the worst game you could buy pre-owned is Speak Out. <laughs> what? Well, Frag a rock? Five quid. 
That is cool though, isn't it? Not for that though. Don't even need to research that. Not worth more than that, or at least not much more. I think boxed for one and a half. We're just gonna get that, I think. Check it out later. What else have we got knocking around here? Well, happiness is with you. There's the lingual phone box I was telling you about. Gonna leave it though. No dancing in the shop. <laughs> you sure. mean, unless it's good? Unless it's good. I wonder if that'll clean up. Um, just go and ask the ladies. Yeah, because yeah, I know they might come and be handy. After you, okay. honestly. Thank you. It's actually only 50 feet. That's alright. And the other one is too high. Spyro 2023. Nah. I'm going to put this in my pocket because I can't be asked to hold it. I'm not going to nick it. Not today. I just need a right old scrub. Look at that now. I'm going to let somebody else have them. Sorry, there you go. Hmm. I might give these ones a go. Look how flat they are. Oh, she's just doing it, what? Please, may I see that one? Yes, let me see it. What, mate? <laughs> oh, okay. You're all right, Mickey? Hey, Hello, mate, you all right? Yeah, all good, you all right? Well, you must be, you must be busy in here if I ain't seen you. What can I take? Nothing today. Hair extensions? Not for me. <laughs> Just got rid of them. Say hello to my little friend. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Not for food juice, for decorative purposes only. Made in India. I wish I had somewhere for it. If that's still a pound, if you want it, I'll buy it. Oh, it's gone up. <laughs> Mr. Valentino Rossi, I believe. Done, well, I've got a big old basket down there. No, nah, you're not a big old basket. <laughs> you're a little old basket. <laughs> no, can I get one, please? I left it in the car. Clearing out all your electrics for you, mate. Clearing out all your electrics for you, boy. <laughs> you keep testing them, I'll keep buying them. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty bag, isn't that's it? Oh, quite yeah. a good arrangement, isn't it? I like it. That's a, that's a perfect <laughs> arrangement. Big is, big, big is good. Big is good. Like, big is good if you're in the corner. Yeah. I can, I can, if you pass it, I'll load it. Yeah. Are you alright there, mate? Yeah. Do you need any help? I don't think so. Good stuff, then. This you're alright. Right. The oh, is it a nice little power pack? Oh, they're, they're nice, though, aren't they? Gotta get another one, maybe. Yeah. I'll hang around for a second in case you do. <laughs> Great stuff. That was a decent charity shop trip. I had to go back in there because I had unfinished business. While I was editing the last video and in the YouTube comment sections and on Instagram, it was pointed out to me that I'd missed something. So I had to go and see if it was still there. And it was. I spent £36 in total, so let's see how much I'm going to make back on that. Hopefully, some profit. First up is this triple pack Panasonic phone bundle. £5 paid. It does say, note, two phones need batteries, but I'll sell them without the batteries regardless. I don't really care about that. I always put in the listing, needs rechargeable batteries. Make sure you buy the right ones, you donkeys. £5 paid on that. I will list them for about £22 all in and just get them shifted. And they're already boxed up for me. Lovely. I think these are called Adidas Edge Lux. From my research, they're women's. I've got like a big rope ribbon laces. They were £6.50. The only thing on them is a little mark just there. Other than that, they're in fantastic condition. I think you can get about £25 to £30 for these, but I'll just vintage them for 18 quid and just get them shifted. I'll make like £12 on top. Come on. DVD player with remote, this is like a little Sony one. People like these for their caravans, for their holiday homes. They like to have them in there. They furnish them with these, so when they rent them out, Airbnb or whatever they do, or if they go there themselves and they've got a stack of DVDs, they can watch some films. Because not all of them have good signal, you know what I mean? But yeah, these smaller ones, that's where they tend to go. Caravans, camping homes, things like that. And everybody else, kids' rooms as well, whatever else. And adult room if you want one. £10 for that because it's got the remote. That'll shift quite quickly. I'll list it for £23.99. No offers. 
and just let it move on. So I should make about eight pound on that once it's done. And I don't think it will last very long. You know me, if I'm buying loads of stuff like I have today, I don't mind spending up on things like this and making a quick eight to 10 on it. I don't mind buying something for 10 and making eight pound after fees profit because it brings the total spend down of the rest of the stuff. Casio calculate. I knew that was going to fall out as well. Legend. Casio calculator. I paid one pounds 50 without even looking it up, thinking it's got to be worth like eight, 10 with the box. Does it even turn on? No, it's probably got no battery. People are getting about six or seven without a box. So I'm hoping maybe 9.99 with the box. The box is in good condition. If I can get that off, that off, without ripping it to pieces. Polaroid rechargeable in car DVD player or portable DVD player. People you normally have them in their cars though. Comes with the remote, with the charging lead, and it comes with a TFY headrest mount. So you put that on the back of the headrest, bop, stick it in there for the kids. I, mean, I don't even have any DVDs to make to make use of this. But people do. It's got a nice swivel screen on it. You lay it flat, whatever you want to do. I actually thought this was not used because I saw this like plastic wrap that was on there still. People just obviously haven't picked that bit off. I thought that was the handle. I thought, oh, the opening bit's still got the plastic. Paid £8 for that. Still, regardless, I get about 25 quid for this one with the remote control and the charger. And especially with that headrest with it as well. I can't really find too many solds on this. I'm going to guess 12 to £15, especially with it being spooky season as it is. But it's called Tomb of Doom. There was no price tag on it when I went in there. So she said £3.50 if you want it. I don't know. It's like a game, isn't it, by Drummond Park. Drummond Park do a lot of stuff in the early 2000s. I picked up a, like a wall climbing thing from them before. Yeah, they do loads. I'll check it out to make sure it's all there. Hopefully it is. If it is, maybe £15. I'm hoping more, but... My, my, my gut says 15. And of course, the main one, the Transformers board game. While I was picking up those jelly cats, I got very, very excited. I was also racing against Tom to not let my Frozens defrost. I was in the car. So I just saw what I saw. Nice money. Ta-da. When I was editing, I saw it on the edit and was like, oh, damn, everyone's going to whinge at that. And of course it happened. Everyone was commenting going, you missed it. But then someone messaged me on Instagram saying, you've missed that, obviously. But if you go and get it, I will buy it off you. So I need to work out a price for him. I'm seeing these listed for around about 60 to 70 quid. Hoping I can get somewhere near that. If he wants to buy it, I will obviously do a nice little deal for him. But I'll let you know once I've spoken to him. I've taken all the pictures of it. It is complete. It's in really good condition. The only issues are a rip on the corner, wear on the box, and another rip on that corner. Outside of that, the board is pristine. Everything's decent. So that's a really nice little pickup that is. £1.50. And just because I paid £1.54, it doesn't mean I have to sell it for a fiver, all right? But I'm going to reach out to you today. So there we go. Nice little charity shop trip, huh? Don't be scared to pay up for things, especially if, you, if you're charity shopping and you realise you've actually bought a lot of items in one shop or even on the whole trip. And you get to a point where you've got a lot and you start finding things that are like £10 into 23 so after fees, about £8 profit. You can pick those up because you've now averaged in the spend of your whole shop down. I've said it before, but if I go to 10 charity shops and I buy 10 items and I spend £100... As far as I'm concerned, every item was a tenner. I don't care if one of them was 50, seven of them was five pound and so on and so on. Everything owes me 10 pound each and that's the sort of margin I'm working with. That's how I like to work on it. So I've got seven items today, spent 36 pound. So it's approximately five pound, 20 pence, something like that per item. Even though the Matt Transformers board game cost me one pounds 50, as a whole, on an average, five pounds 20. The Sony DVD player cost me £10, on an average, £5.20. See what I'm saying? And that's not a terrible way to work. So try and remember that when you're out shopping, instead of having fear of, oh, this is £50 and blah, blah, blah. Ask yourself, how many items have I bought today? How much have I spent? What's the average going to be? That's how I like to work, and it works for me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next one. ta -ra!